Hello, O-Doers. Service level agreements, also known as SLAs, describe the standard of service a customer can expect when they work with my company. SLAs lay out what I can provide my customers, as well as the timeline in which I'll deliver those services. When I make my level of service clear, my customers know what to expect. There's no hidden surprises. This helps me to foster customer trust, and it boosts my company's reputation. Here at Stealthy Wood, we promise customers a two-day turnaround time. Yep, just 48 hours on their help desk tickets when they buy our VIP support package. Well, let's see how to create and apply this SLA policy in Odoo. Now, the very first thing we're going to want to do is we need to activate our SLA policies for our VIP support team. I'm going to locate the VIP support card, and I'm going to click over here on the more options and click into settings. Now, once that we're inside of here, we can scroll down over to the performance section. And what we want to make sure is to check off the box next to SLA policies. Once that's selected, we now are able to see the working hours field below it. Now, this lets us define the days and the hours my help desk team will be working. I'm going to be keeping it on the standard 40 hours per week, but let me open it up just to double check that everything is correct. Now, once that we're here, we want to make sure that the time zone is set to the proper time zone for where we're at, and ours is US Pacific. And the other thing that also we can see is that since it's the standard 40 hour work week, one workday has eight hours. This feature is useful if you have contractors working part time or non standard schedules, factoring in weekends or days shorter than eight hours. Now that everything is set, we can save these settings and we can save again. Now, the next thing we're going to do is click on over to the configuration menu and then we're going to scroll down to SLA policies and go in here. As you can see, no SLA policies found. Let's create one. So what we're going to do is click on the create button and we're going to start us off. Now we're going to need a name for this. And in our case, as I've already told you, Stealthy Wood has a two days to finish promise. And after we're done with that, we can go head over here to the criteria section. Now this first section, what we can do is select the help desk team that we're going to be using. In our case, this is VIP support. Uh, below it, you can see the minimum priority tag the type, the tags, the customers, and the sales order items. We're gonna leave everything here blank, but that's just because we want all VIP support tickets, no matter their priority, ticket type, or tags to be handled by this SLA policy. Um, customers and sales order items are gonna be left blank just because it's not applicable to this situation. Those fields are useful though, specifically if you want a special policy for your loyal customers, or for issues with a specific product that you sell. Now, in the next section over here titled Target, we can select certain things, such as the stage that we want, you know, this ticket to be completed at, and in our case, it is the done stage. And we want this to be done within 16 working hours. Now, since one workday is eight hours in a standard 40 hour work week, two days would be 16 hours. I'll exclude the canceled stage as well, so that Odoo doesn't apply this to tickets that are canceled. Okay, now that we're all done here, we can click save. So we've created an SLA policy and we've applied it to the VIP support team. But what does that actually look like in action? Now, if we go back over here to overview and we click into VIP support tickets, we can start to see that. So follow me here. A customer just contacted us saying that they ordered a chair, but it's broken. I saw in their file that they are a VIP support customer. So I'll go ahead and open up a support ticket for them under the VIP support team. So let's go ahead and click on create. And we're going to label this broken chair. Our customer is Azure Interior. Now, the beautiful thing about Odoo is it likes to fill or it will fill in all the information for you automatically once you've created a customer. And what we're going to select over here now is the type. We're going to select issue and this is pretty much essential to just ensuring that we select the proper things now once that we're done with these we can pretty much select save and give it a second as we can see here odoo has automatically a attached to it the tag for two days to finish from our sla policy now this deadline is calculated based on the time the ticket came in 
and the working hours we set on the policy, and this includes weekends. As you can see, the SLA deadline is in five days, but that's because today's Thursday, so 16 working hours from now would be sometime next week. Now, if the ticket is not done and the deadline passes, the SLA policy tag will turn red. And if we click back on the ticket pipeline over here to VIP support, we can pretty much see that the actual tag has been issued over here and we can see that the deadline is set. And then if we click back over to overview, we can see any open SLA issues that we have now. In our case, zero, since the deadline hasn't hit yet. Now, SLAs are a great way to manage customers' expectations and keep your help desk team on track. Be sure to check out the video on help desk reporting to learn how to generate analysis reports for your SLAs. But until then, thank you for watching. And if I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.